Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco. And I'm Lynn Langett. And we are here to show you how to teach the first recipe, simple square. So in this demonstration, Lynn is going to play the student, mm -hmm. and I'm going to play the teacher. And let's get started. So first, uh, we need to import the recipe, and the recipe is going to be called square. So let's import that. And Lynn, can you read the first line? Sure, it says show the tortoise. Great. So in English, um, we usually start with the verb, but in program we start with the subject. So what's the subject? That's tortoise. Good. So start typing. And you'll notice right when that happens, the box comes up. And this is going to be our first and most important lesson with programming, which is be as lazy as possible. So don't type the whole six letters, seven letters, when you can just hit tab to complete it. And now that you have that, in English, we connect our words with spaces. But in programming, we connect our words with dots. And then use your arrow keys, search through there, and yell it out when you find out how to do this. It's show. So what do we use to complete it? Press the tab key. Okay. And now we'll run it and see if it worked. Oh, that looks good. Okay. So now that we've seen that it works, we can go to the first line and delete it. And there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can hit the delete key a lot, you could highlight it, but the laziest way is just to be on the line and hit control L. Okay, okay so next, uh, can I have you read line 8? Move the tortoise 50 pixels. Great, right. so what's our subject again? It's tortoise. Okay, and so how do we complete that? Press tab and, and then dot. We... Exactly. And now uh, use your arrow keys again and search through there. And I see there's a move. Great. So how do you complete it? Uh, I'm going to press tab. Okay. Now, once you do that, you'll notice that over here is the documentation. And the most important part of this documentation is the example. So use that to try to figure out how to get this to work. Well, I see it says move 50 pixels, and it says move length in pixels. So I'm going to put in 50. All right, let's see if that works. Does it work? There we go. So once we have that done, we can clean up the line. How do we do that again? Control L. Great. And now, can you read line six for me? Change the color of the line the tortoise draws to blue. All right. So what's our subject again? It's tortoise. How do we connect the words? With a dot. And let's search through there, see what you can find. All right. And I'm going to go to set pen color, and I'm going to press tab. I'm going to look at the documentation, and I'm going to see that I'm going to want to um, Put a parentheses and then quotes and then blue. Does that work? And if you run it, it does work. Great. So once we can see it work, what do we do? You go to the line of English, click on it, and then press Control L, and that's going to delete that line. Great. And now can you read out line eight? Turn the tortoise ninety degrees to the right. Great. So. I'm going to say tortoise, and then, oops, I'm going to say tortoise, and press tab, and then dot, and then I'm going to um, press a T, which is another way to, to scroll through to see if there's something to turn it, and I'm going to see that I have turn, and I also have turn right. I'm going to be really lazy and just use turn right. Let's see if that works. Great. And then I'm going to clean up the line above because I've translated it. Now, can you read line four? Do the following four times. And which line numbers does that refer to? That's going to be lines 6, 7, and 8. And what's the simplest way you can think of? Um, to copy and paste that. All right. So let's highlight that and copy it. All right. And let's paste it. All right, so that's four times. Let's see if it works. Great. Now, that's a nice way of doing it. Mm -hmm. But if we had like 200 times, you can imagine this would get really old and you probably get carpal tunnel system mm -hmm. before you're done. So let's undo that. All right. So I'm going to just click undo a bunch of times. You could also do uh, like a control Z. But I right, back to undo. And let's confirm that we're back to where we started. Yep. Great. Now, what we're going to do is show you a better way of doing this. So we're going to go to our slides. And we can see here that we have this thing called a for loop. 
Alright, so 4i equals 1 to 7. So how many times is this going to do something? For this one in the slide, it will be 7 times. Right, and it's going to do everything until you get to this n4. This n4 is going to be very important. So let's try using this in our program. Okay. So I'm going to start with 4. So a lot of times I suggest just copying from the example. Now you're going to have to modify that because it's getting too close, but not all the way. So how are you going to do that? Well, the English says do it four times, so I'm going to change the 10 to a 4. And what else do you have to do? And then I have to put the N4 in, so I'm going to type that in uh, right here. Okay. And does that work? Let's try it. Great. And then finally, uh, we can clean this up. And can you read that last line? Make the tortoise move as fast as possible. Great. So I'm going to say tortoise, and then I'm going to um, look at something to work with the speed. So here's set speed, and I see from the documentation that 10 is the fastest, so I'm going to say set speed, I'm going to put in 10. And you notice that in both the color and the speed we did that. We have another slide to talk about that, which is this pattern that we see a lot of times in programming, where if we want to view something, we'll use the word get. And these are called getters. If we want to change something, we'll use the word set. And these are called setters. So finally, you've got the whole thing working. What do you do to clean up the last? Control L. And that's it. Thanks very much. Thank you.